what's up everybody good morning and welcome back to another mold man episode down at the coast and uh we're gonna go do a little fishing got our waders on and we're gonna go do a little wading and i think we brought some bait as well we can't find them waiting it's super windy down here so uh we're gonna go try to get out of the wind and see if we can catch a few fish for dinner all right guys we made it to our first little area so we're looking for hard pack ground and what I'm really looking for is bait. The wind's hitting it just fine. Uh, it's kind of going into what we're gonna be fishing and we're gonna be casting with the wind. And I'm seeing a little bit of bait. I saw a bunch of bait back up in this cut. Not that they were, we're gonna walk up in it, but um, I just saw another bait. So this, this time of year right now is what they call the big Manhattan run. So there's gonna be a lot of bait around and you're gonna have to fight to catch these fish because there's there's a lot of real food out there so uh, we're using our baits today Moltman Bait Co. I'm gonna power pole down right here what what color are you going with I'm going with dirty di or uh we'll, we'll throw fin KBNJ. bone I'm going fin bone today and uh Miss Piggy That is it. So I'm gonna throw a GoPro on. Can't wait to use my my Laguna custom rod again. I love this thing. I'm seeing bait flicker pretty good right here. So man, I hope it's good. Got him. Nice trout. So we'll keep a trout. Choked it. Huh? I don't know. Look. These things fight so hard. Golly. It's gotta be a giant drum. 
There's a giant one right here that keeps showing his tail. Keep her red. Guys, I told you it was windy. I hope y'all could hear a little bit of that GoPro footage, but waves are blowing over the back of the boat. Well, we got some fish. We got us a, a, a slam, a grand slam. We got the flounder reds. saw some ginormous uh, black drum but they wouldn't eat we couldn't really get in front of them so we got some rods out now with shrimp my dad's taking some pictures of mullet man bait co and if y'all haven't bought a few bags of mullet man baits go over to my site and grab a bag or two or you can go to tackle town in rockport or roy's bait and tackle in corpus christi so we are going to fish a little longer and then head back in it's really windy we're gonna go clean these fish at the house and uh we're eating fish for lunch <laughs> guys we made back to the dock got two nice reds big trout and a big flounder so it's been a minute since i've cleaned the flounder so let's uh let's do this together cut in behind the head just like you would all the other fish and then i'm gonna run my knife down that backbone 
best eating fish down here in my opinion this and black drum and then we're just gonna work our knife keep all that meat work our knife down those ribs I guess they're ribs they have them the whole length of their body all the way down you get to some pin bones cut through those and then you want to go up and over that spine A lot of people keep these flounder whole and uh, it's called checkerboarding and you can checkerboard the meat and bake it or stuff it. Stuff flounder is really good. But we're going to do the fillets. And this bottom side is always harder to do because it has oh, about half the amount of meat as the front side. It should be able to see right through a flounder skeleton if you clean it properly. So there's the bottom side and that thing is about as see through as it gets. Throw that in for the crabs and then we'll take take this skin right off this meat. Just like that, there's your skin. And then these little fringe, fringe bones on the side. You just take those off. And then another cool thing on a flounder is you can split it right down the middle. So there's your filet. And then you can take it, split it up into two sandwiches, just like that. So same thing on the back side, take that skin off. those fins off split it down the middle and there's a clean flounder so y'all have seen me clean reds and trout I'm gonna get those cleaned up and I'll catch you guys in the kitchen all right guys so we've got the fish all cleaned up everybody's taking naps all the kids we've got some rice going back here and uh, got some flounder some trout and some redfish so using a new secret mullet man seasoning today uh, it will be available very soon. We're just waiting on a few details packaging wise. So we're gonna see what it tastes like on fish today. And we're just gonna do a little pan sear with some butter. And we got some salad and rice to go with it. Gonna shallow fry it real quick in some butter. Got it a little hot. So we'll just take our pieces. Let those cook up. Well, Ryder just woke up. He smelled dad's fish. So, you want to go get Ryder? He's awake, you wanna go get him? Go go get Ryder, Millie. What do you think, Nana? One out of ten. A nine. Nine? <laughs> Everybody's digging in. It's Ryder delicious. got him some. So 
Let's do a taste test of the fish with the new seasoning. I'm gonna take a piece of flounder. One out of ten. Mmm. That is delicious. Hmm. Probably gonna have to give that a solid eight eight. That's really good. So we got fish, rice, salad going, and a nap's coming before we go out for the afternoon fishing trip. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, go over to moltman.net, get you some baits, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, eat good.